Miranda Shawshanker. She was killed in a suspected murder-suicide in Midville yesterday. Fox 13 Sydney Glenn spoke with Miranda's loved ones earlier today as they gathered together to mourn her. She joins us live tonight, Sydney. Yeah, Miranda's loved ones are obviously heartbroken. It's hard to even comprehend what happened. Well, of course, Miranda is no longer with us. Her family and friends hope that people will remember her for who she was and the great impact she, she made. Didn't this. We didn't deserve to have her taken from us. While holding each other tight. Don't shock. I feel like I could break down any second. Those who love Miranda Shawshinger lit candles to honor a life taken too soon. I can't believe that this is how she left us. And I can't believe that I'll never see her again. While they stand together to say goodbye, those closest to Miranda hope people will remember her like this, smiling, happy. I hope that people remember how giving she was. She took care of the elderly as a CNA, and she was in nursing school, and all she wanted to do was help people. Kind to everyone. She was my very best friend. But if you asked a thousand other people, they would say she was their best friend, too, because that's just who she was. Well, she may have had a million friends. Her very best friend was her five-year-old son. We will make sure that we remind him every day how amazing his mom was and how blessed he is to be her son. A mother, a friend, a daughter, leaving behind those she made whole, holding each other tight, thinking of all the life she had left to live. She would have been an amazing nurse. <laughs> she would have been a fantastic nurse. She would have she would have made a difference in this world. She already has made a difference in this world. Brandon's loved ones hopes that this story reaches victims of domestic violence. It gives them the courage to reach out for help because there is help out there. Live in Midvale, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah. Sydney, thank you. If you or someone you know is experiencing a domestic violence emergency, call 911. You can also call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at the number you see on your screen, one 800 799 7233. The Utah Domestic Violence Coalition can also be reached at 1 800 897 5465. We now have